This week on Ladies Aboard, we talk about storage, organization, and we hang out with Christine, who is fresh on the boat, SV Walkabout. Hey ladies, let's talk organization something that is often asked by many men and women um, that are about to embark on their journey of living aboard is how do they organize I mean you're going from land and a big house or apartment or what have you to a tiny little box basically um, the thing of that is is there isn't one answer because as you know uh, every boat is different uh, which means there's a different layout different storage options and of course it depends on uh, the crew that's on your boat like how many people are on board or what type of people are on board like I said there's not one single answer to uh, to clear it all up for you but that being said uh, of course I'm gonna share with you some of our storage and organization uh, tips and tricks and just some things that we've uh, kind of figured out along the way <laughs> first item is storing clothes or maybe you're coming from somewhere where it's always sunny it's always nice out and you don't need to worry about you know winter storage we're canadians so we actually opted to keep um winter jackets and you know long pants and so on and so forth in case we had to go home for anything um all of that stuff is actually sealed in vacuum sealed ziploc bags and stowed away somewhere that we never see it unless we have to. The next one is our sealed bins. Uh, we picked these up at Canadian Tire, I believe, uh, maybe Walmart, <laughs> um, but they're just, you know, it's standard storage bins, but they've got a seal around the, the top of the inside. Um, so it actually keeps moisture out, which is definitely helpful when you're living on a boat. We don't really own anything that needs to be hung up on a hanger. So we actually changed a, or built shelves into our hanging locker just took the the bar out and built shelves and that's where all of our clothes are stowed so. next on the list is food and water storage so most of our food is uh, you know in the fridge or the freezer um, or in our hanging basket uh, which is above the galley uh, outside of that um, any like canned goods or non-perishable food items uh, we opted to put into the a locker on the port side um, and in doing that, it was kind of to counterbalance the weight of the water tank, which is on the starboard side. The, uh, the water tank, uh, we've got a 110 liters, uh, which is just under 30 gallons. Underneath me, we've got uh, six water jugs. They are 26.5 liters, which is actually seven gallons. Um, again, we've got six of them. It takes three of them to, to fill our water tank. We've got a separate locker for um, like spices and just random like bulk items that we bought. Um, personally, I went overboard with buying the spices, um, so a lot of it's probably not in you know edible condition anymore. But uh, when I clean that out, that'll free up some space there. So that's a plus. So next on the list is the garage items, as I'm going to refer to them as. Uh, that's basically a lot of spares, tools, extra sails, so on and so forth. Some of our engine spares, uh, they just kind of got lost amongst moving around and, you know, trying to get used to life on board once we left. Uh, things to, to change the oil and just regular engine maintenance. Uh, Tim built a box to go in the engine bay and it fits under the, the cover quite nicely. So that saved a little bit more room for, uh, for extra spares and whatnot in other areas of the boat. Um, we've got a big Rubbermaid bin in the cockpit locker, uh, two of them actually. One is with like electrical spares and just extra boat parts and the other is extra bungees and ratchet straps. Um, our spare sails, I believe we're down to just two. Um, we've got a storm jib and a, a backup main. Uh, and they are both stowed up in the V-berth uh, under the bed. On top of those, because they're, you know, once you fold them all, all nice and neat, uh, there's quite a bit of room. <laughs> so we stow extra uh, fluids for the engine up in the, in the same locker, uh, which is probably not the best idea now that I'm thinking of it, because if one of those breaks open, oh, those are going to be nasty sails. 
We've got another locker up in the V berth under the bed. We've got one side is just tools, more engine spares and boat spares and things like that. Uh, we've got, oh, well I say it, the V berth isn't really a bed anymore, a bedroom of any sort anymore, because we've got our portable AC unit, uh, which also is also a dehumidifier, uh, which is very, very helpful on a boat. Um, if you got the space for it, highly advise getting one. At first I was like, ah, it's taking up space and I want it off the boat, but I've grown to love it. <laughs> Also up there, uh, when my paddleboard's not in use, uh, I've got a, uh, a blow-up paddleboard, and that's stowed up in the front. Uh, it comes in a nice carry bag, so that's up there, uh, along with all of the sewing things that I can't seem to part with. Although we don't use them as often as we could be using them, uh, we do have two, uh, you know, folding bikes. Uh, they're actually stowed in one of the lockers in the cockpit as well. So, yeah, of course, as most boats do or most cruising boats do we've got l loads of extra fuel and we've got our generator that we stow up on deck so just some miscellaneous storage items uh we've uh, we've kind of come up with along the way um tim made a tool hanger i'll call it <laughs> or a pocket uh that's up on one of the walls in the v-berth so it's out of the way but it's for all those things that you need like on a regular basis i didn't like the the, the sliding doors and they were most of them were broken and they were just hideous to look at um and i saw somewhere else uh, somebody had made like uh covers for for the shelving units uh with the twist locks so I made several of those uh, and behind each one has kind of its own little home for storage. Um, most of our camera gear and uh, one of the charging stations is in this one. And we've got my camera gear and a couple of my books behind in this one. And we've got computer parts and backup storage and plugs and charging cords and all that in this one. And of course we've got uh, like just extra spices and food and whatever the case in this one, this one, and this one. <laughs> one thing that you tend to accumulate throughout your travels, whether you bring it with you when you leave or uh, just things that have been handed over to you from other cruisers, is books. Um, there was not a lot of book space on or storage on, on the boat before we left, um, but we kind of crammed everything wherever we could until I got sick of looking at it and everything falling over when we tried to go for a sale. So I made these book pockets. In the head, um, instead of going with just a, a regular shelving unit of any sort, because there's not a whole lot of room to work with as is, um, we had an old shower like shelf thing <laughs> that went over the, uh, the the shower head in the house. So I actually just broke off all the, all the baskets and kind of stuck those in corners so we've got a little bit of extra storage space in the head. Of course, earlier I mentioned we've got a storage hammock uh, in the galley. Uh, our pots and our pans, uh, we stow under the galley. Uh, we have a little bit of a sink in, or a, a shelving unit in there, um, along with uh, just above the, the shutoff valve. Um, but we try not to put too much in there because of course, in a case of emergency, you need to get to that through hall, as we know all too well. <laughs> But yeah, we just keep our, uh, our kettle for making our coffee in the morning and our stainless steel pots and pans in there. So, you know, any, any water leakage or anything, uh, no damage done, good place to put them. We've got some fishing gear that, uh, that you don't really want to stow in a locker somewhere because if you've seen our lockers, they're kind of a mess anyways. Um, but uh, we, we keep our, our fishing net and two fishing rods uh, stowed in a PVC pipe that we had left over from a project and just strapped it to the, um, the solar array. So it kind of keeps it out of the way, keeps it neat and tidy and allows us to have it on board. And the last thing is hooks. Those little like screw into the wall hooks have a bazillion of those on board because anything from like flashlights or your hats or just random items that you want in like easy to reach places um, without actually building something to stow it all in nice and neat and tidy it's the easiest way mind you it does get a little noisy when it gets really bumpy all right so that's just some of our tips and tricks and how we live on lady k with uh, some of our storage and organization 
skills. <laughs> but uh, if you have any questions or concerns, just toss me a comment below. Let me know uh, if you want me to cover something else in the future or if you've got any ideas for a future episode of Ladies Aboard. Some of you may already know Mr. Nate and Mr. Chubbs on SV Walkabout, but this week we're going to hang out with Christine and Dodger who are just moving aboard and we're going to talk to them about what they're expecting, what they like, and what they're kind of worried about going forward. Welcome ladies! So we're hanging out today on SV Walkabout, our buddy Nathan's boat, and we're hanging out with Christine. Hi! Just moving aboard, so this oh, is yeah. going to be a good one. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely been something. How are you feeling so far? Pretty good. Um, it's been a nice little transition. We've moved slips, so it made it a little bit easier to move in my stuff. It's It's been pretty good. It's been awesome actually. We've been busy, so haven't had time to really process until this moment. <laughs> <laughs> and what better way than you know, yeah. having a couple drinks with oh, another yeah. girl? Hold on, I know. <laughs> First girl on the boat with a drink. That's fine. Right now you're you're still working on land. Yep. Uh, before you you kinda bite the bullet, get yep. the job and last day Tuesday. I wish today was my last day, but it's not. That's <laughs> not. Um, I'm trying not to push her into calling in and, you know, oh God. have a girl's night out or something, but... <laughs> Don't push it. One but, more drink. <laughs> you know, those, uh, every dollar counts. Yeah, like, you dollar. can make the money, make the money, because it's going to... It'll gonna help, help the dream. Yes. That's what I keep thinking. Uh, it'll be good. On Tuesday night, will be like, oh, I'll be so happy that I actually went in. Yes. And I'll know my paycheck was a little bit better. <laughs> So can take another day or two off of work and enjoy the boat. There so I'm excited. So like, what, what, what have you been up to lately? Like, yeah, you're still working. So still working. But when you, you come on the boat, what is it? What are you doing? A uh, typical day. Well, it's been a transition with the dog. I have a small Boston Terrier. They has a big uh, pit bull. Um, just pretty much getting my routine down, you know, making my coffee, um, making instant, not iced coffee as of now, which she is okay. She switch to French press. <laughs> I do have a French <laughs> press too. I was used to when we first got on the boat, not having a lot of water. Yep. Right now we have water to do dishes and like actually clean as much as I can without worrying about water uh, waste. You no, know, making coffee, having breakfast. Um, learning how to, you know, use the pilots on the stove, uh, learning how to light the oven last night was interesting, um, things like that nature, like, things always take a little bit longer than oh, I'm used to, oh. but it's good for me because I'm You'll a fast pace. It, yeah, I can, it takes a lot longer. It takes a lot longer, <laughs> Everything okay? on a boat takes a It takes lot a lot longer. longer, but it's okay because it kind of makes me slow down, which is good, and I'm excited about, um, you know, just learning my way around, like, just being able to just have my little sea legs and just getting off the boat on and off very quickly with the dog and just, you know, once I am here, it's, it'll be a lot better, I think, because I'll have more days under my belt on like doing it. It'll be like nothing. Oh, like, I really feel like it'll be like nothing. Kind of bringing me back to the know, first days. When my first days. Like, it's just interesting. On off the boat. Like, yeah. I mean, Even I'm, they would compliment me. He goes, look at you on the dinghy. Check you You're out. doing good. And I'm oh. like, yeah, okay. It just sugar. Good. Yeah, thanks. it feels good. It so. feels good. It really does to get on <laughs> and off without problems. Before, yeah. yeah. But other than that, like just getting used to being on the boat in general. Like I really thought the biggest thing was going to be is this feeling right here where you're up and down. I have I actually feel worse when I'm not on the boat right now than when I do when I'm on land, which is something I never thought I would say. In the meantime, like, are you are you watching? Videos? I'm watching videos. I'm yeah. talking to everyone that I can. Um, pretty much listening to Nate a lot. Um, he's yeah. showing me a lot of the channels and like where things are, like where we're gonna be taking from here to. We're gonna be going up to Maryland, and then we're gonna be heading up hopefully to Rhode Island to see my best friend. Oh, that'd be and awesome. that would be awesome. And then we have another. Well, he has another friend that lives in, I believe, Vermont. Um, which is a beautiful place. I've been there a few times. Um, I used to live in Rhode Island, so I'm excited to show Nate where I used to live, like for a while. And yeah, just enjoy the food and enjoy the culture there. It's totally different than here, and get out of the hurricane season. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Um, I can 
that's the main thing um, for the boat for its safety and obviously we want to we want to travel together so we're excited about that so being in like watching other the videos, other videos and whatnot, uh, what is it that, that you wish you saw more of well basically like the, when it's really rough I guess when things maybe go wrong mm -hmm. like for instance uh, if something happens you kind of know like a do-it-yourself quick fix type um, scenario maybe mm -hmm. or um, I mean, at first I was just watching this video where it would talk about nausea and like more, you know, sickness, oh, yeah. motion sickness, because I have a lot of motion sickness. But as of right now, like I was telling her, I have none and it's awesome. I'm super excited. I hope it stays like that. I hope oh, maybe it's some weird, strange reason I don't ever get motion sickness and I don't ever get sick on boats, especially when it's just me and Nate. I don't want to be one man down. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to see is mostly like things of that, like what could go wrong, if, for instance. So I'm prepared. I'm a prepared type chick. So I like she to know. She hasn't seen our sinking video No, yet. I have not, but I'm going to watch it after this. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it on that level. Um, but also I'd like to see like the cool places to oh, yeah. anchor, places to go in and check out on land. Like oh, yeah. I'm interested in like food and I like the different bars and different restaurants and stuff of yeah. that nature and like cool spots that I wouldn't have found on Google pretty yeah. much. I, like I, I, local spots. True, truth be told, you do, like, you can find everything that you need online, mm -hmm. but the best part is, and I, I still stand by it, the, the best experience you will ever get going anywhere, whether it's in Florida or in the Bahamas or wherever, is getting shown around by a local. Oh, yeah. Like somebody who actually lives there. Because yeah. Because you're not going to go to that, you know, five star restaurant that no. you And I want to go to those places. places. Yeah. You're, you're sure. going to go to some little divey hole in the wall place that actually has the best cock rivers. There you go. You know. That's what I'm talking about. And that's, I like, it's nice to, to talk to so easily. I'm excited, excited about, about that. Stuff oh, yeah. Like that. Food and meat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. into it. For right. sure. Thank you, Tyler. Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's pretty much what I want to see on video. That's what I want to show on a do a lot of girl things for people that have never been on a boat like how you're doing to me um, same thing like you know showing how anyone that's really interested in this type of life can do it like you know anybody I just started it. but I feel like I can do it oh yeah I'm feeling very positive yeah. so what it's what's something that you're most looking forward to as being part of the crew tell me exactly what to do and me be able to do it without a question it's like, like boom my course yeah I this that. boom boom done what is it that you're most looking forward to learning um how to how to judge the wind and how to like set the sails and pretty much bring the sails down like something like that just learning little by little by little and then it all pieced together you know i have a good memory so i'm pretty sure like once he tells me once i'll be good and Go. The next time he'll say it to me, and I'll just be like, "Oh, I know what to do. On no it. worries. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, that's so. a, it's a good feeling when you. It's good to just learn like, in general. Oh, to me, he's talking about right now. And yeah, when those I moments where you, yeah, it was like, like oh, I can do that because I know what that means. Yeah, it was you know? like the first time that we, you know, were sitting down with a bunch of people that were already sailing and they'd already been, you know, millions of miles. I felt like. I'm just sitting there and it's like the first time that I can actually say I was pretty quiet <laughs> and I'm not usually quiet and it was like humbling a little bit you know like wow I know nothing about this yeah. and everyone's just talking and it was like Chinese to me you know like I don't know what you're what the, the what yeah. and it's awesome because yeah. I like that I, I do I really because like learning you, it challenges you right? it challenges like, you yeah and it's good I'm excited I think that's important to yeah be, to be challenged and like even once you get comfortable doing the boat life thing, yeah. like it, to, to be faced with a daily challenge is really important in, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I don't know. No. Um, but like the washer dryer thing. I yeah. mean, what washer and dryer? Exactly. You gotta, you gotta wash well, dryer honestly, I've clothes. actually washed my clothes in a bucket, so it's not that rare it's, that I would do it now. And then a sunny day like this, you just hang your clothes out to dry. I did it yesterday. I did that when I was a kid. <laughs> so, I mean, it doesn't seem very um what would be the word i don't even know it just doesn't seem very strange to me to want to do that no. and it's it's almost like camping but just on the water pretty well yeah it's like that's camping on the water and i love camping so hey like you're in the process of 
kind of selling everything right now. What's the what's the one big ticket item that you're like, oh, I really don't want to let go of it? I mean, a month ago I was really stressing about the car thing, and it took me a few days to kind of program, you know, process it. And I was like, dude, I don't really need a car for being on a boat, and it. We know so many people. I feel like we have such good resources, or Nate does, that even if we do end up on land and we're saying, oh, well, we really need a car right now. I mean, there's always Uber now, there's oh, cabs yeah. and friends and you know people we know from boating and stuff. So I don't know, like that's the one thing I was stressing and I feel like I'm not stressing it anymore. I'm lucky though, I don't have any really obligations. Yeah. Everyone says it. Just do it. Just do it. Just go. What are you waiting for? You have no children. You have no this. You have no that. Just do it and have fun. <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to never regret it. One of those people, once I set my mind to something, even if I maybe it doesn't work out in three months, four months, which I don't think is going to happen, I, I feel like I'm making the right decision. So up to this point, I mean, you've, you've been living on for, for how, how many days now? I mean, on and off, I've been, when did I come on the boat the first time again? Three weeks ago, and I'd spend, I spend like four days here, and then the rest of the days I'm in Naples, um, so I'm just in like two days on, maybe one or two days off, and then come back, so yeah, hasn't been consistently a week yet, um, so I, I really would just say a few days, really, That's not but bad. Um, you gotta start somewhere, right? next Tuesday will be the official, that's it, no more back oh, to Naples. Time. Um, and it'll be my home and it's gonna be weird <laughs> but it's gonna be cool yeah. and it's a pretty nice boat and I really like it and it's gonna be fun. It's a great boat. It is. Really it is a great boat. boat. I want to get on the way and I also want to learn more about what I need to be doing as you know his mate helping him. First mate. That's the main thing, is finding what clothes to wear, what not to wear, what to bring, what to not bring. Um, I think I'll figure it out in a few weeks, so oh, yeah. I'm glad it's to have this time just to transition. We have a few things to do before we leave, and then once we do, um, I'd say, you know, you live and you learn. here and you're gonna be on a boat and it's gonna be like you were at your house where you're gonna have your do your hair moment you're gonna do your makeup and you're gonna not sweat and you're gonna get dirty like yesterday we were putting in water in our boat and Nate was like you need to go into the uh, cabin you need to lift up the cushions and look at this little hole that looked like I don't know but there was water coming out and I just was like the one going yeah we're full you know and I was sweating my butt off and I just think that, you know, like someone said to me yesterday, you, um, you really have to be comfortable, I guess, in your own skin and not feel that you have to wear, I mean, I'm a lucky girl, like, Nate is like, don't wear makeup, I love it, don't wear makeup, and yeah. you, obviously you're going to be with someone that's a sailor if you're here with your spouse or your person, they're not going to care, and don't care either, just enjoy it and have fun. We all came into this world like this, so we should all be going out like this. 100% nice. And this hair is out of control, and I just don't care. I'm enjoying the time and enjoying the weather, and just think about it like going to the beach, but you're here 24-7. Yep. You know, we don't need fake eyelashes. We're good. We're good. You know, I'm good with just buying a new bathing suit every week. Right? My one favorite thing to do is buying a new bathing suit, and it gives me more of an excuse now to wear a bathing suit and pretty much wear no clothes as you know what out here in Florida and you you know you wanna you wanna just enjoy just have fun I feel that yeah and I concur oh yeah <laughs> cheers well thank you so much for having me on oh thanks season. for coming I appreciate it and hopefully like I said maybe fun. we'll catch up in a year from now and see if she still feels the way she, she does now she needs to stay a little longer <laughs> oh yeah, yeah tell that to customs I know right <laughs> thank you so much cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God.